KP, how are you? And is the comeback locked in for next week? Yeah, it is. Um, fit, healthy, obviously happy to be back. Um, yeah, it's been a been a long time, it feels like, but um, it's only around the corner now and I'm excited to be out there with the boys. What's given you the faith that you're ready to come back? Oh, there's a lot of clarity and reassurance over in Canada. Uh, that trip, as soon as I sort of got there, just the, the, the team that they have there, they're welcoming, supportive and um, yeah, just clarity around where my head's actually at and, and gave us clarity around the, my return to play. Um, in terms of my brain, it's, it's good to go. Um, and then so now it's just been about getting me back, sort of just, you know, around the boys, footy, running, gym and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that trip definitely made me, made me very positive and, and confident to play. Can you tell us about the Canada trip? What did they actually do? What were the tests? How, what did they tell you that's giving you that clarity? Yeah, so they had a, a, like a device called a Neurocatch. Um, I don't want to go into the science of it, it's not really... I mean, I know, you know the specifics, but it was literally just a six minute test. Um, during that test, it was words said, and uh, at the end of that test, I guess they had objective data on where my brain's at. Um, the reassuring thing for me was, I guess they said that if I was just a normal person, they didn't have the head knot history, they would say I'm, like, I'm pretty good. So, I mean, within six minutes, and there were some other tests that we did as well, but. Um, I guess within a few hours, yeah, I knew what, where my head was at and um, you know, whether I can keep playing or what my expected return to play to be is. And uh, yeah, just to have that clarity and reassurance was really positive. What have they said if you get another knock like you did in round two? Um, I guess for me, the, the process would be to, to be tested again. Um, I didn't really ask that question, <laughs> to be honest. I sort of just worried about now. Don't really want to look too far forward and, and put that into my mind, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, just sort of worried about getting back on the field, um, getting my brain right. Um, I'll worry about that when, when that comes. It's a pretty genuine question though, isn't it? There's a lot of commentary around it and you can understand why given your history. Yeah, yeah it is. But I mean, like anything in life, you can't really worry about then. You can only do what you can do now. So um, yeah, I'm just worrying about that. Obviously trying to get fit uh, on the pitch, off the pitch. Um, just worrying about myself, trying to get myself fit for next week. How concerned were you about your future straight after that headlock? Um, yeah, I was, it was pretty confronting, I guess. Uh, it, was, it was pretty scary at the time. I obviously had the history last year and come into this year just excited to play, excited to, to, put, to you know, be my best and perform my best and just to have a little bump in the road. But uh, like I said, I mean, going over to Canada, getting that clarity and reassurance, um, yeah, it just makes me really confident to play. What was your initial reaction when whoever said we might send you to Canada? Uh, I think it was Doc, Jin, just just here. He, he said that we might be going to Canada. I, I guess I was open to the idea. Um, my mindset over that period was kind of uh, just be open to, to what's being said, be open to, I guess, everyone's uh, opinions and ideas that are trying to help me. Um, I was obviously recommended by Professor Chris Leva, so it was kind of you know, an educated um, decision. So I, I wasn't too, I wasn't too stressed or anything. I was just very open about the idea. Was there a time you thought your career was at a crossroads, or potentially coming to an end because of it? I, I guess when after the head knock, there was probably a few days there of uncertainty. I wasn't really too sure what was going on. I hadn't really spoken to anyone. Uh, the next thing that I did know was I'm going to Canada. So I guess a little bit, but like I said, I mean, it was such a positive trip to go over there not really knowing what, what to expect and then to come home with so much clarity. Um, yeah, just grateful that the club and Chris Levi and whoever else had their say and it got me over there. I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity to do that. How difficult were those few days of that uncertainty? Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty difficult. I mean, to, to have that thought you know, that you could stop, you might have to stop playing was, was pretty weird. Um, but like I said, I was trying to be positive and open-minded about everything that was happening. Um, I'm pretty good at, at, at doing that, to be honest. So, yeah, I mean, I, once I knew Canada was in front of me, then I sort of just went, all right, this is what I'm doing. Just stay positive and, I guess, open-minded. And, yeah, I've said it yeah, a few times now just how positive that trip was. Are there any differences you have to do now, say, off the field post-match, like, to help with you, this initial recovery um, phase with you, bro? I, I guess the thing about the Canada trip was uh, their mindset towards 
not only concussions but head injuries or brain injuries uh, is that you can you can build the brain back you can you can train the brain you can you know make it perform at I guess at a higher level um, yeah so there's a, a couple of things that I'm doing but um, that was awesome to see it wasn't sort of like a head knock head knock full stop that's it um, they deal with people with Alzheimer's and dementia and all these sort of things where they're trying to slowly build them back so um, yeah, it was pleasing to, to see that. And we conversations, sorry, conversations with family. Did anyone there? Because obviously they want to look after health rather than your footy. Did anyone yeah. in your family say, "Mate, we really have to think about your future"? Yeah, obviously, I had a few coffees with my parents and sit down and chat with my parents. Um, they just want what's best for me. Uh, so obviously, when the decision to go to Canada uh, was put forward, they were supportive of it. Um, yeah, my family are very supportive. They obviously. They were a human first, first before a footy player, um, and that was their mindset too. And we we did have some conversations, but again, you know, we went over to Canada, got the the clarity and reassurance, and uh, they're on board of that too. Did you see what impact it had on them? Oh, my mum, my mum. It's pretty. When you think about it, it's pretty confronting. My mum was at the game. Uh, for her to see her son just black out and, and drop like that's pretty pretty scary. And I, yeah, I, I mean, unfortunately, she's had to see that a few times, but. Um, she's supportive, she, she, she understands that what I went over there for and what the data we got back and she, yeah, she's, uh, I guess on board of me playing, she supports me in what I do too. Carl, with the testing in Canada, is there a reason why we don't have it in Australia? Uh, I don't know, yeah, I'm not too sure on that, that, um, the answer of that. All I know is that, you know, the team over there were really supportive, um, comforting and yeah, obviously the data that I got was... Yeah, I feel pretty confident about coming back. I don't know the answer to that. Um, they do see some pretty awesome athletes. I've, I've met some Red Bull, um, like extreme sports athletes, and um, yeah, they deal with a lot of athletes over there. Um, personally, like I've, I've obviously been through it, um, and I think it would be awesome for Australia to adopt it. But I mean, I don't know the answer as to why they haven't. Did they suggest to you, look, if you have any issues down the track, come back? I still keep in contact with them. Um, to be honest, I wasn't asking too much about <laughs> having another one. I probably, it's not that I don't want to know the answer, I'm just worried about myself now. I'm worried about what I can control in this moment. Um, I still keep in contact with them, that's part of it. Um, and they're, yeah, again, they're supportive. So it wasn't so much about if I get another one, do I come and see you again? Like, we didn't have those conversations. And contact so far in, in training again, are you back? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Full yeah. contact? Yeah, pretty much. We, I trained with the boys yesterday, which was awesome. Uh, and then I've been doing wrestle sessions and contact sessions prior to that. Um, still under the guidance of them and Chris Levi, but yeah, I'm pretty much back now and feeling confident, feeling good. What about technique-wise, mate, tackle technique and, and that sort of stuff? How much time have you spent revamping the way you defend? Uh, uh, like obviously, there's been a little bit more detail in what I do. Uh, I think going into the season, I had done a, a lot of... Um, reps and, and to be honest I was feeling pretty confident about my tackle technique I guess the, the one that I got just previously was a head clash and you could say I could have put my head here and that whatnot. Um, but yeah I would like to, on, to, to answer your question yeah there's been a little bit more detail in it um, but I don't think I have to revamp my, my tackle technique I don't think there's a like a whole new technique that I have to adopt. It's just about being a little bit smarter with my feet, and my head and stuff like that. What about playing 5'8"? You committed to, to, there's been a bit of talk around going back to fullback. You, you want to stay at 5'8"? I do, yeah. I'm definitely excited by that role, just like I was um, coming into the season. Obviously, Lockie at the back's going amazing for us at the moment, so I'm keen to get back there and build upon that combination. Will there be any change to how you defend, Carol, in terms of Oh, I don't think so. Uh, probably just for myself being smarter. Um, obviously going to feel my way back into games a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be like I'm um, defending in, on a whole new position. Um, the confidence that I had leading into the season, I mean, I, I should still hold that. It was, a, it was a head clash and I understand there's all these different opinions, but um, to be honest, I'm really confident about defending at three men. I'm seeing Matty Johns is, sorry, I don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> just on that, um, Matty Johns, I know it's probably had some words about maybe a, a hybrid role almost, or just limiting certain plays so that you don't maybe 
cop that rushed in defence that they mm. jam in on you. Is there a consideration there between you and Adam about how you would maybe adopt certain plays and maybe don't use certain ones that may put you in that sort of a position? Um, Without trying to be over tech. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, there hasn't been. Um, to be honest, like I know what my best plays are uh, and I'm still going to run them. Um, that's what makes me, I guess, good at my role. Um, and regard, yeah, regardless of their knocks, that's what, that's what makes me, you know, me, I guess, in a sense. So I'm not going to start changing the way I play um, in that sense. Obviously, being smarter, having a bit more uh, detail around my tackle technique uh, and those sort of things, definitely. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to change too much. How do you deal with all the new, the noise around all this and all the opinions that people are giving and when you're just trying to get back on the field and people are saying 5'8", full back, and then should you retire? How, how hard is it to kind of lock all that out? Um, yeah, it, it's, it is, it's, it's easy and hard. I appreciate everyone having their opinion. I understand that some people do it because they can and some people do it because they care. Um, so for me, it's easy to see which ones care. And to be honest, I, I appreciate their opinions. Uh, at the end of the day, I have a pretty good support of group around me, both at the club, my family, and a few people outside of that as well. So it's about listening to them. Um, their opinions matter most. Um, appreciating all the opinions, but I'm not going to let um, you know them eat me alive. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty lucky to have the support that I do. Did you reach out to anyone else previously in the game that's gone through similar things like yourself, like players that had, had retired early due to concussions and stuff like that? Uh, earlier, I did, before I went to Canada. Um, like Sione, who was here, uh, who had to go overseas, or not had to go overseas, he went overseas and obviously he's had a great career since. He had a little bit of head knock drama, I guess, um, prior to going overseas and yeah, he's flying now. Um, but then I guess for, for myself, like going over to Canada gave me that clarity, um, so I wasn't, wasn't really, didn't really feel the need to reach out to too many people. Um, I had enough people around me, uh, both at the club, within the club, um, sort of helping me along the way. What about since you've been back, have you had players reach out to you about your experience over there? Uh, I haven't actually, no. Um, I guess that since, well, I mean, I've always been cautious of head knocks, but since the process of everything happening, you sort of do see how many are in the game, and it's, it's unfortunate to, it's a part of the game. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't. Feeling nervous at all about returning? Uh, not for my head, obviously getting back into footy again, it's like round one for me almost, so um, to go up there and do a job against the Cowboys, oh, you'd be nervous anyway, you know, it's, it's a good thing to have those nerves. Uh, I'm excited to get back out there with the boys, um, just try and do my part for the team, you know, build upon what they've been doing for the last six, seven weeks, um, yeah, and just do my role. So you're confident you'll be back next week? Yeah, time. pretty confident, yeah. It's a big one too, isn't it, for a lot of different reasons, mate. You started there, it's game 100. Yeah, I've, I've had a little bit of time to reflect on that and, and think about it. Um, yeah, started there, gave me my opportunity to you know, live out this dream and continue this dream. Uh, 100 games, yeah, it'll be an exciting week for myself and the family. And then to do it back in Townsville was pretty special. What have you made of the night's performances since you've been out of the game? Ah, uh, awesome. Yeah, you know, I've been so proud. Just our ability to stay in it. Um, you know, some of the efforts from the boys across the whole park throughout the whole 80. Um, you know, we have probably haven't seen performances like this for a while. And yeah, I'm just proud. Like I said, I want to just get back and do my role for the team and build upon what they've already got. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome to watch. Jaden, uh, terrible news for your co-captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, just got it for him. I mean, I've seen how hard he's worked over the last three years and, and no doubt before, like many years before that, but just especially with his injuries. I've um, been doing a lot of work with Jaden off the field um, and yeah, it's, it's gut wrenching for him and, and Lil and, and then his family. Um, yeah, it just is just how much he cares and uh, even even now he's, he's texting saying he wants to be back around the boys, but um, yeah, it's pretty gut wrenching for him, it's, it's sad. How is he doing? Yeah, uh, I, I guess he's probably going through different emotions at the moment. Uh, I spoke to him obviously after it happened. He was gutted. Um, it's a bit like why the footy gods, you know, why him? Especially for someone that's so dedicated to his work, so committed to his work, uh, the ultimate professional, ultimate bloke, like the best bloke off the field as well. Uh, it is sad, it's sad to see, uh, as a mate, as a footy player, as a fan, as anything. So, 
yeah, uh, yeah, he's probably gone through a lot of emotions at the moment. Puts a bit of weight and a bit of extra weight on your shoulders coming back into the team from the Soul Cup. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I have thought about it. I had a little think about it the other day. I'm not, I wouldn't like to see it as weight. Um, he's a massive part of this team and he's going to be missed as a player um, on the field. He has, he has so much to offer us off the field though. So I know when he, when he is ready to come back, um, physically obviously, and back, you know, once he's getting done, getting over it, I guess, or whatever, um, you know, he's got so much to offer us off the field. I'm not feeling like weighed down by him not being here as a captain. Uh, there's leaders on that field across the whole park, and, and you can see that in the efforts, you can see that in the performances. Um, I'm not discrediting Jane, and I'm not trying to say that, we're, you know, but um, yeah, no, I don't feel like I'm a whole lot more weight on my shoulder. When, when you lost him, was there a consideration of coming back against the Panthers on Saturday? Or were you advised not to? Was there a was there a reason why it is next week and not Saturday? Yeah, no, there wasn't. Um, it's always just been in penciled in that I'm coming back against the Cows. Um, yeah, no, it's just always been penciled in, yeah. Safe to say it's going to be the biggest test so far, though, for those that do play tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Penrith uh, without Jaden. Um, yeah, 100%. I think the positive thing about this season is, you know, we've obviously had a, a few injuries. We've had people come in, come out, and it's just a next up mentality for us at the moment, and it, it's awesome. It's awesome to see uh, the boys that are, that'll slide in, no doubt they'll do a job. Um, and that's been the pleasing thing about, you know, our performances specifically in the season, um, whether it's a half, a fronty, whoever's come in, um, yeah, has done a job. With Alan, across the codes, it's, it's uh, front and centre at the moment, concussion. AFL rugby are changing rules for the juniors and, and rugby league obviously at the, at the core. Your experience when you've had concussions, are they all different? Mm. Is it because you recover quickly? Uh, if, you know, can you explain the differences that you've experienced? Oh, yeah, that, oh, oh, I, I can only speak on my experiences. and uh, Yeah, I've had a few now obviously and they're literally all different. Um, and I guess if you ask you know, all the players that have the head knobs, um, they would, each one would be a different scenario. So yeah, it is different. I guess even the recovery after is different. Uh, the incident's different. Yeah, I can only really speak of my, my experiences, but I mean, going over to Canada um, and getting that clarity, um, personally, I found it so beneficial. Like I, I, I'm so grateful that I got to, got to go over there. Um, and I'm not, not sure like if, if other clubs have the ability to do that, but if you know someone did get to that point, um, yeah, I would advise, or I would support, or advise, or, or say it's such a positive thing to do. Yeah. What did you take away from Sione? He had a few dramas here. He was one of us who largely managed to avoid them. I think. Yeah. Uh, too much, it, he didn't say too much in terms of like changing anything you do. Um, he went over there and he still still did what he did. Still played the way he played. Um, still trained the way he trained. So that was the positive a positive thing for me. Um, Again, opinions uh, from everyone, and, and I'm choosing which ones to, to listen to. But yeah, for me, I'm not going to like change my the whole style of how I play. I still I still want to play the way I want to play. Kellen, you said there's a bit of news about Wilson coming back. I guess Cowboys, but a few weeks after that, you'll be back over there at McDonald Jones. That prospect obviously must be exciting for you, especially given the fans have been quite um, upbeat at home this season. Mm. How's that? Yeah, I haven't um, been able to experience it on the field. I've obviously been in the grandstands for the last few performances and uh, to be a fan has actually been pretty awesome. Uh, to, to experience what it's like to be a fan at, at home has been awesome. I want to be on the field in front of them. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, we're very proud of playing at home. We know how much our community supports us and no doubt they've probably got us home a few times already. So yeah, I'm excited to get back.